Uh, it's often noted that Jesus never mentioned homosexuality, um, and people often assume by that that if Jesus didn't mention it, he must be fine with it, and if Jesus is fine with it, the church should be fine with it as well. But although Jesus doesn't mention homosexuality, he, he's not neutral when it comes to sexual behavior. Uh, people often assume Jesus is kind of neutral uh, when it comes to, to sexual ethics, that he just had nothing to say on that whole, whole issue. But actually, Jesus has some very clear and very challenging things for all of us when it comes to sexual ethics that has very clear implications uh, for an issue like homosexuality. Uh, Jesus in Matthew 15 uh, verses 19 and 20 talks about how sexual behavior outside of marriage is a sin. Um, he lists sexual immorality, which is the, the translation of the Greek word porneia, uh, a word that encompasses all sexual behavior outside of marriage. Jesus describes that as something that defiles us, that is something that actually typifies why we can't as sinful people draw near to a holy God. So Jesus reaffirms what the, the Bible consistently teaches, that sex is a gift exclusively for marriage. And Jesus goes on to teach in Matthew 19, verses 3 to 6, that marriage is between one man and one woman. Um, in answering a question about divorce, Jesus uh, takes people back to Genesis 1 and reminds us that since the, the beginning, the Creator has made us male and female, and then couples that observation to Genesis 2, where we're told, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. In other words, Jesus ties marriage to the fact that God has made us male and female. It is because we are made male and female that we have this thing called marriage. So as far as Jesus is concerned, marriage is predicated on our being male and female, on being sexually different. So for Jesus, marriage, by definition, is between a man and a woman. And according to Jesus, sex outside of that context is sinful. It's something the Bible consistently prohibits. So although Jesus doesn't, in any of those teachings, name homosexuality, it's very, very clear from what he says about marriage and, and sex that any kind of sexual behavior outside of male-female marriage cannot be blessed by God cannot be morally good. And that therefore would include prostitution, it would include premarital sex, it would include adultery, and it would include uh, sexual behavior between people of the same sex.